Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of DIY Sensory Stories. Now, today we are doing something different. We are doing something new. We are doing Eco Club. Eco Club, which I know is a favourite activity for quite a few of you. <laughs> In Eco Club, we learn about different animals and birds and trees and how to help them. Today we are making something very special, something very cool, which you can hide in your gardens at home. We are making a mini beast hotel. A mini beast hotel. This is the kind of thing you can hide in your garden and then a few days later you can come back and check, maybe with a magnifying glass, and have a little look to see if you can find any little creatures. Any ants, or spiders, or worms, or wood lice. This is a really good thing uh, for these little creatures to live in. So, we are going to make a mini beast house. Before we start, we are going to talk about our learning intentions. We are going to look at the resources we need to do this activity. We are going to practice our signing and we're going to talk about how to stay safe during this activity. So our learning intentions are to use one of these, a potato peeler, as independently as possible. Now this is great for fun activities like making a mini beast hotel, but it's also a really good skill to practice for functional activities like peeling carrots or peeling potatoes. To, for this activity you are going to need one of these, a potato peeler, and you'll see I'm using a lovely D-shape potato peeler here. This is much safer than using a long pointy one, um, great, there's a reduced risk of the young person hurting themselves. We are also going to need one of these, a tent peg, and a stick of elderwood. Now elder is a, a kind of uh, tree you'll find growing all over the place. I'll put a, descript a link in the description below um, how to identify elder. So, our signing. Can we get our signing hands ready? Very good. Peel. Peel. You sign. Peel. Peel. Good. Insect. Insect. You sign. Insect. Insect. <laughs> Very good. And last one. Worm. Worm. You sign. Worm. Worm. Okay. We are going to talk to how to stay safe during this activity. Using tools can always be a bit dangerous, can be a bit dangerous. So we have some rules to keep us safe. We always peel away from ourselves, away from ourselves. This helps keep us safe. When we're using a tent peg, we always point the tent peg down away from our faces. And that keeps us nice and safe. Now I appreciate to do this activity, some of you are going to need help from an adult. That's okay. It's all about being as independent as possible. Okay, so our mini beast hotel. We take our elder stick and we gently peel away from ourselves. And what we're doing is we're taking off the bark. Can you see? The bark. The bark. And we should end up with a lovely smooth piece of wood just like this. And if you have a little look you'll see there's a little white circle, a circle in the middle and this is called pith. Pith. And we are going to make a hole in the pith using our tent peg. So I'm going to put in like this, 
away from my face and pushing away from myself. I'm going to push through. Oh, ho, ho. and you can see the tent peg has come out the other side. And there's a little white bit of pith just here. And what I've done is I've made a little hole, a little hole for our creatures to crawl into and to feel nice and safe and warm. Once you've made a few of these, you can put them together. <laughs> you can put them together and tie them tightly with string. <laughs> Tighter than I've done in any event. <laughs> and then you can hide these in your garden. Hide these in your garden. You can come back a few days later and see what little creatures have made a home in your mini beast hotel. Okay guys, have a lot of fun. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye!